Good morning, everybody. My name is Jay Thompson, the founder and CEO of Excel Strategies. Uh, here in Savannah, we've started our mentoring work nine years ago, and uh, now we're excited to announce the hiring of Cornelius Lloyd, our mentoring director here in Chatham County. Cornelius, it's good to have you today, buddy. Hey, man, it's good to be here today. Yeah, tell everybody a little bit about yourself, like uh, where, you, you know, where you're coming from, uh, what you've been doing for the last 10 years, and then kind of what we're doing here in Chatham County now. Okay, well, again, thank you for uh, having me today. Um, so Cornelius Lloyd, I'm Chatham County uh, Director for Excel Strategies, and I come from Savannah, Georgia, so born and raised here. So I'm gonna back up a little bit beyond 10 yeah, years. Man. And um, just got back to Savannah maybe about three and a half years ago with my wife, Ashley, and our two children, Kyla and Victor. And I spent uh, about the last 15 years in the Atlanta area. So I graduated from the Savannah Chatham County Public School System, mm -hmm. uh, class 2001, Herschel V. Jenkins High School. And uh, went off to school at Georgia State University, uh, completed a four year degree there and then went on to seminary at Columbia Theological Seminary in Decatur. Spent a couple of years working in the nonprofit sector, so I'm coming back home to nonprofit yeah. work, yeah. working with kids whose parents were incarcerated, mm -hmm. and that's kind of how I got my entry into the reentry services program through Family Reunification Services, and spent a, six years uh, in full-time ministry, uh, youth, young adult college ministry. At 14 years old, I knew that I wanted to help people, empower yeah. folks. And at 14, I didn't even know the word empower, but I knew I wanted to help. And so I got my career in social services started here in Savannah at the West Broad Street YMCA as a oh, summer okay. camp counselor. Yeah, exactly. So working with little boys. And yeah, so yeah. now I get a chance to work with um, teenage boys and young men, ages 15 to 25 here at Excel. And so uh, the Lord led us back home, raising our kids with uh, four grandparents is always a blessing. So. My wife's parents are here, my parents are here, and uh, my kids are enjoying school, and, and I'm led here to Excel to join forces with you. Well, um, you know, Excel, uh, our tagline is fueling young men with purpose, and we really believe that it's, it's our job to help young men uh, who we feel are builders and dreamers. Yeah. And we know young men love to build. Uh, they love, they're, they're thinking about building a family. They're thinking about building a business. But we also know they're dreamers, man. They're dreaming about, uh, you know, what work they're going to accomplish, mm -hmm. uh, they're, what, what things they're going to be doing, you know, uh, in their future families. Right. But they really desire to build a legacy. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're trying to help fuel these young men with purpose to find success in their dreams so that they can leave a legacy behind, you know. So tell us a little bit about the, the value of family and legacy and what that means to, to you in your own life. You know, one of the things I love about the curriculum that has been rolled out with Excel is that it's, it's um, fueled with purpose and with forcing people, guiding people and guiding our young men around what that means. And so we're having a mentoring training this Sunday and we'll be talking about vision as we kick off the, the new year. And so for me, uh, family is everything. I value that. One of the decisions we made for moving back home was for family. Mm -hmm. um, I have a grandmother in the Atlanta area, and so it was kind of difficult to leave her there. But uh, she knew that uh, my wife and I moving back home was going to be great for our children. And so she's all about her great grandbabies and wanting to make sure they have the best. And so having um, my wife's mother and father here, uh, they've been married for 40 years, and my mother and father have been married for 39 years, 40 years this year. Mm -hmm. And so um, my wife and I, being a younger couple and raising children, it was really good to have that infrastructure. And so uh, it worked for my wife and I, and we figured it would work for our kids. And so uh, my wife's grandparents uh, transitioned when my children were uh, infants. And so having... Um, the legacy of family, understanding what a grandmother and a grandfather are. In our case, we have poppies and mimis yeah, and, and, <laughs> and grannies, sure, right? you know, and yeah, so definitely. raising them uh, in our local church uh, with uh, mothers of the church who are 95 years old or 80 plus years old and um, all the way seeing them care for even children younger than themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, my daughter just turned nine years old and and so my son is seven. And so having that community of people, and now my wife is engaged with the uh, PTA at our local uh, elementary school. And that's actually how I met one of our partners, uh, Nick Schultz, through yeah. our, our PTA in Maine Men. So we, we give high fives on Fridays. Yeah. You know, we just that's stand out in front of school <laughs> and give high fives. So the value of family as it's replicated across cultures, across um, different platforms from school to church, it's seen everywhere. And it's, I think, something that we've lost out on, which is where a number of our young people come in place. You know, they, they 
don't have that um, model of seeing a, a father and a mother work together mm -hmm. for the development. And so we come in and we say to them that their purpose is rooted and grounded in value. Mm -hmm. And so um, as they continue to move, we want, we want them to have healthy relationships it, and have families it. of their own. Well, listen, you know, you know that Excel, we have a lot of fun activities, a lot of fun event, events. We've got the Joy Prom coming up in May, May 1st. Uh, we've got the welding competition in North Georgia coming up in March, and we, we do these fun welding competitions down here in Savannah. Um, but we've also implemented some new ideas this year, or actually for 2019, and for this year, it's uh, these monthly training meetings. Tell us a little bit about what those look like. So we work with our young people on a weekly basis at uh, several schools throughout the area. And uh, what we want to do is on that once a month, bring all those boys together, bring them into one room, share with them the curriculum, allow them to see other young brothers that are going through what they're going through. Mm -hmm. And so they become brothers keepers where they're able to hold one another accountable. Uh, to their own success. And so as they are growing in manhood, growing in adulthood with responsibilities around uh, financial stewardship, growing around issues with um, wanting to make families, want them to teach healthy boundaries uh, so that they can protect themselves and the folks that are around them. One of the biggest things we had uh, last year was we had a car giveaway. So one of our young men uh, won a car, as yeah. you know. Yeah. Super excited. He, he put his name in the bucket and he said, Lord, please, you know, I've been faithful. I've been trying really hard. Yeah. And so, um, you know, that same young man had to have an alternate replaced. And so we do yeah. simple things like make, making sure that they can call on someone and say, hey, I need some help. Walk me through this. Help me think through this. And that's what life is about, that's is right. that you're not alone. There is someone else that you can pick up the phone, make a call to, and we can walk through um, the next steps. Yeah, the reason we call Excel a mentoring network is because a lot of these young men, they don't have their father's network, and uh, they long to be a part of a network. And so Excel becomes that community for the young men to, uh, to, to really, you know, uh, find help when they need it, but really to be able to find assistance to accomplish their dreams, you know, and that's kind of what we're doing. You know, for the workforce, uh, kind of this is something probably, well, not really quite new for you, but uh, from an Excel perspective, it's new, but thinking about the workforce uh, development aspect of Excel, what are some uh, things that have been un unveiled to you, you know, uh, with our workforce strategy? Executives are saying is that they need folks who can have soft skills. So having a conversation, looking someone in the eye, shaking right. their hand, giving them their name with a business card. So walking through those soft skills is something that actually our governor uh, said in an initiative on high demand jobs is that we need folks who are able to communicate effectively. And unfortunately, with uh, all of our computers and our social media networking, we have lost some of the tangible ways that we communicate with one another. And so if we're able to um, teach, train, educate, mentor, and model that in our trainings and our time together, it helps them to be able to advocate for themselves in jobs, you know? Uh, you can have a challenge on the job, mm -hmm. but your mom and dad can't go up to the job and fix it for you. <laughs> you know, it's an inside, you know, inside scoop to that. Yeah, it happens. it happens, it happens. You know, mom and dad or mom may want to come up and say, I don't like the way you're treating, but that's not how we're raising men. That's, that's not right. what we want to do. We want them to be able to advocate for themselves, to understand how to um, share when they're having challenges, mm -hmm. putting in a an appropriate two-week notice versus just walking away from a job. Because one of the things that we want to teach them is uh, you may have to leave a job, but you want to leave well. You mm -hmm. never know when you may have to go back. So old, old folks used to say, you know, you don't burn your bridges. That's right. You know? And we always talk here at Excel about you don't leave a job until you have a job, right? And then put your two weeks notice in. So we're just trying to teach these soft skills and character development to these young men, help them transition into the workforce. Cornelius, thank you so much for being here uh, with us today and sharing uh, a little bit about your background and your experience. So we're grateful to have Cornelius on the team. And I know you are excited to have Cornelius on the team. And if you would like to support our work here in Chatham County and support Cornelius' work, please uh, visit our website at exceltoday.com. That's X-C-E-L-T-O-D-A-Y.com backslash support. And uh, that support will go to Cornelius and his work here in Chatham County. So thank you so much, Cornelius. And we're grateful to have y'all uh, share with us in this time today. Thank you.